Hey there, this is Anna Gondrabura and I'm your English and Effective Communication Coach. Today we are talking about practicing speaking in English and I want to tell you right away, you have no excuses not to practice speaking these days because you don't even need a partner to practice with. You can practice by yourself. Now how do you do that? In this video, I will show you how you can practice English by yourself watching TV series. But we won't be just watching, we will be noticing interesting expressions and actively repeating them. Let's get started. Now, the episode we're going to watch comes from a very famous show, Silicon Valley, and this is one of my favorite TV series, actually. The character in this scene named Big Head very funny name, Big Head is getting a promotion that he is not really ready for. That's the background for the scene, and now let's go ahead and watch it. I'm not sure I understand you are being promoted. Immediately we have two awesome phrases. Big Head says, I'm not sure I understand, which is a more polite way of saying I don't understand. Now repeat this phrase. I'm not sure I understand. I'm not sure I understand you are being promoted. Next, the HR person responds, you're being promoted. This means you are getting a promotion. Now try repeating this. You're being promoted. You're being promoted. Add some enthusiasm to this phrase. Being named co-head dreamer carries with it a significant pay increase. Uh, greater equity, more favorable testing schedule. See, but I really like the job I had. You know, I was perfectly happy there. Notice how Big Head says, I was perfectly happy there. Perfectly happy is a fixed phrase in English that just means happy, uh, no objections, no problems. For example, you can say, I'm perfectly happy with my job. I have no problems with my job. Try repeating this phrase now. I was perfectly happy there. It was kind of the, the, the perfect level of um, involvement for me, I think. And also that other guy, uh, Bannercheck, he, he did not really seem to like me very much. Next, Big Head says, he did not seem to like me very much. Just like the phrase, I'm not sure I understand, this is another polite phrase that helps you soften your message. He didn't seem to like me very much means I don't think he likes me or simply he doesn't like me. You can use this phrase in a variety of contexts, actually. For example, this idea doesn't seem to make sense or the issue doesn't seem to be fixed. Now try repeating these phrases. He didn't seem to like me very much. This idea doesn't seem to make sense. The issue doesn't seem to be fixed. Oh, uh, he does not. Um, and he wanted you to know that he moved four school-aged children and his elderly mother across the country in order to run Uli XYZ on his own. He's very clear about that. The HR guy uses another cool phrase here. He says he was very clear about that. Now, this is a great phrase for negotiations, actually, especially if you want to say that someone has a very clear and strong position and they won't compromise. For example, the client won't extend the deadline. He was very clear about that in our last meeting. It means that he was sure yeah, about that in our last meeting. Now you repeat, he was very clear about that. And he wanted me to convey that to you. Have I done that? Yeah. So what is my job exactly? That's actually, uh, that's up to you. You can do whatever you want. Okay. See, that's sort of what I do now, though. But starting today, you can do it in a much more significant way. Enjoy your new office. This is my office? 
Another phrase, but starting today, you can do it in a, a much more sophisticated way. Starting today means from today. But the thing is that in English, we don't really say from today. We say starting today or, for example, beginning today. You can also use any other date uh, in this phrase. For example, starting tomorrow or starting next week. But we don't say starting from tomorrow or starting from next week. Don't make this mistake, okay? Now you repeat this full phrase. But starting today, you can do it in a much more sophisticated way. Sophisticated, exquisite, better way. Now I encourage you to rewatch the clip and repeat the phrases we have just covered with you once again. Try to copy the manner of the delivery of the phrase so that you sound like a native English speaker. This will help you remember these phrases better and also improve your pronunciation and speaking skills. Also feel free to make up your own examples, of course, your own examples with these phrases and uh, use them in your own situations. Don't forget to check the description to this video because I'm going to drop some useful links for you.